One of the things I find most fascinating about chimps, um, not only the Gombe chimps, but right across Africa, is their material culture, meaning their ability to use the stuff around them to make tools, to solve problems. There's so many things that chimps do. I mean, I think the repertoire is like 350 different tool uses or more, and I think that's fascinating. In Gombe, nine different chimp tool behaviors have been witnessed. They use twigs to fish for termites out of their mounds. Sticks as probes to get into a tree ant nest or inspect an object. Rocks as hammers to open fruit. And use leaves as a sponge to soak up water to drink. They flail sticks and throw rocks as weapons to intimidate other animals. Or even use sharp sticks as spears. They'll even use vines and sticks to play tug of war or keep away with. Chimpanzee youngsters can learn by observing, imitating, and practicing. They learn by watching their mother, especially, but also brothers, sisters, other individuals in the group. It was in Gombe some 40 years ago that Jane Goodall witnessed tool use for the very first time. This observation was something that no one had ever seen before. Something that changed the way the world viewed not only chimps, but humans as well. I was walking through the vegetation one day and it had been raining and the first six months money I had, which was all I had, was running out. And I knew if I didn't see something exciting before that money ran out, that would be the end. And then I saw this black shape hunched over a termite mound. I peered through my binoculars. I saw a hand reach out, pick a piece of grass, and clearly was using this as a tool, pulling it out from the termite, the, the burrows into the nest, and picking the termites off with his lips. And that was what was supposed to make us most unique at that time. Humans and only humans use and make tools. We were defined as man the tool maker. And so now we have to redefine man, redefine tool, or accept chimpanzees as human. <laughs>